Good Monday morning. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and uh, woke up ready and refreshed for a new day that the Lord has created. Today's daily bread is blessings and curses. We tend to forget that God told his chosen people that they would be blessed for righteous living. But he also told them, read Daniel, read in Daniel, it'll tell you. He also told them that they'll be cursed if they didn't. So the answer to the question, why do things happen to people, is because of the way that we live. We're the ones that dictate what God does by our actions, our lack of actions. So if we read through Daniel, Daniel tells us God made a promise to the, the people of Israel, to his chosen ones, that if they live right, they would have peaceful lives. But if they did not live right, then they could also be cursed. So we need to make sure that this is why it's important, first of all, to read and to ask for understanding, wisdom, and knowledge because discernment. Uh, because if we don't understand what the word of God, then how can we apply it to our lives? And this is why you see blessings and curses is because God in Daniel, in the book of Daniel, read through it. He made promises that if you live a righteous life, you have a peaceful life. But if you don't, then you'll be cursed. So Daniel made an appeal and said that this is going to reflect on you. This will reflect on you, God. So this is why God sent Gabriel. And Gabriel had to fight to get the word. Read it. I'm not making this up. Read it for yourself. And it, it, it's a wonderful thing when you read. When you read the Bible and you, you ask God for understanding, you can understand what he's saying. It is very, very powerful. And it's things that, well, we wonder why, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Well, let's, let's get a mirror. Let's look at that mirror. And let's say, what am I doing wrong? God looks at us. Just like anything else. Um, I can remember when my dad, <laughs> he would say, um, and it's just a saying. When a monkey does right, you reward him. When he does wrong, you don't reward him. But it's the same thing with us. When we live righteous, God rewards us. But if we don't, we don't get a reward. So, not, it doesn't say that we have to do everything perfect because we'll never ever be perfect. But it doesn't say that we shouldn't stop trying to be perfect. Blessing and curses. God bless you every second, every minute, Every hour of every day. God bless you, my brother. Good to see you.